So I'm here in Milano, Italia, and I'm about to meet up with this black man who was born here in Italia. And how does he feel being black in Italia? I don't know what to expect, to be honest with y'all. This is going to be a, a new story for me. So today I'm here in Italia with Aziz, and he's a black Italiano living here. Are you from Italy? Were you born here? Sì, io sono nato e cresciuto in Italia, uh, però i miei genitori sono del Burkina Faso, sono immigrati qui in, in Italia quando uh, mio padre ha deciso di venire qui a cercare un lavoro. Uh, sono figlio di immigranti qui in Italia, i miei genitori uh, sono nati e cresciuti in, uh, in Africa, in particolare in Africa occidentale, Burkina Faso e Costa d'Avorio e per cercare insomma, una vita migliore si sono trasferiti in Italia, ormai questo 30 anni fa. Being born in America, land of the free, home of the brave, mm -hmm. I feel like, no, not, yeah, no, I feel like I'm not wanted in that country in the way that we're treated compared to white Americans. Living in Italia as a black person, do you feel like y'all are seen? Sì, ci sono delle somiglianze con quello che che dici perché essere nero in Italia con la distanza purtroppo con eh, ehm, i bianchi questo perché ci sono in atto delle discriminazioni c'è anche il tema come dire così storico del fatto che la migrazione in Italia ha un'età comunque eh, molto eh, ridotta gli africani insomma sono arrivati qui in, in Italia Sembra un fenomeno che parte dai, da, da 30 anni fa, ma massimo 40, 40 anni fa. Oggi c'è ancora uh, tanto da lavorare, c'è tanta difficoltà di essere presenti no? e riconosciuti dal, dalla società italiana, sebbene noi siamo di fatto italianissimi. No? Quindi uh, quando dici che c'è questa difficoltà in America, si riproduce anche di fatto qui da noi. I'm gonna be honest, I don't... I didn't know that when it came to Italy that this is very new that a lot of black people are moving to Italy. And I don't think a lot of people think about that because it's like you can't be like really mad at them for not understanding how to incorporate y'all into the community. And same with the black people coming over, how do they incorporate themselves into the community? Um, but have you ever felt like you can't walk down the street in a certain neighborhood because of your skin color? Because in America, you know, that's, growing up, my mom would just say, Davion, take off your hoodie, you're going in a store, don't walk around late at night, don't touch anything because she didn't want me to, to get shot because you see it on the news. Unarmed black people getting shot, mothers crying out, even going to the store sometimes. I would just be shopping and they would say like, do you have money for this? What are you doing? Or empty your pockets, you took something. So I don't know, have you felt, do you feel that energy here too? Um, in un certo senso sì. Uh, ma non concretamente come avviene in, uh, in America, nel senso che la, la paura di essere, uh, diciamo, picchiato, la paura di essere um, magari sopraffatto anche dalla violenza della polizia um, c'è, ma non è tanto fisica come violenza, ma quanto piuttosto si tratta di una violenza più istituzionalizzata. In Italia manca una legge eh, che permetta ai figli di migranti nati in Italia di eh, essere italiani. Questo comporta ulteriormente una distanza di te nero, che sei nato e cresciuto in questo paese, ma i diritti minori rispetto ai tuoi coetanei bianchi. Questo comporta in te un senso di inferiorità della, della società in cui sei immerso e della società che in realtà è casa tua. Ehm, poi c'è anche la società che esterna e interiorizza questo aspetto e ti vede di fatto stereotipato come eh, la, 
persona che ruba, come la persona che puzza, come eh, la persona che non deve stare, non deve occupare quello spazio lì. E questo chiaramente tu nasci bambino in un contesto che ti eh, introietta queste eh, paure, queste conoscenze, quindi eh, nei bus ti metti ben visibile, fai in modo di eh, far vedere che non stai tentando di rubare nessuno, stessa cosa nei negozi. Ecco, io fortunatamente questa cosa qui un po' l'ho superata crescendo, però da piccolo ho avuto dei traumi enormi, lo si possa dire nel tuo video, mi sono rotto le palle di eh, nascondermi, quindi di fatto in ogni occasione possibile io voglio manifestare la mia presenza e il mio essere nero. What you said is very interesting because I feel like being from America, all of us together really take for granted if you're born in if you're born on US soil, mm -hmm. if that's Alaska, if that's a military a US military base in Germany, mm -hmm. that's US soil, yeah. an embassy, yeah. you're you're American, you're American citizen. American. If you're black, you're white, if you're blue, I don't think there's any blue people, I don't know. <laughs> But if if there is a You'd be a U.S. citizen in America. Um, I didn't know that if you're born in Italia, but your parents are from other countries, that you, you're not a U.S. citizen. And that, that makes no sense to me. And I can't even imagine, like, growing up in a country that you're born in, you speak the language, you grow up with the other Italianos, and you have, like, I, that feeling, like, I'm not supposed to be here, but I am, I am supposed to be here. I learned about the artists at the Pino, 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 Pinacoteca di Brera. You learn about the artists at the Pinacoteca, you see all these paintings, you, you just learn about the rich history of Italiano, and I feel like, yes, America does struggle with a lot, but it's the fact that If you're American, you came to this country, you're American. That, that's it. So I guess, what, what are you doing uh, here in um, Italiano? Like, in, uh, what are you doing here in Italia to make the situation better, right? Because, you know, you can complain, but I, I feel like you feel the energy to that. Yes, I can complain, but what can I do for my people and others like Asians, Mexicans, Spanish people, what, what are you doing here? Is there a, a group here that other Afro uh, people from other countries no. can get into? Sì, um, noi abbiamo tutto il diritto di stare qui, un po' la, la, il fulcro, l'elemento fondamentale eh, su cui bisogna un po' basare anche la lotta, la battaglia, l'attivismo. Eh, essere presenti, occupare gli spazi, far vedere che noi esistiamo. E, in Italia in realtà ci sono dei, eh, dei gruppi di attivisti eh, afrodiscendenti che eh, tentano insomma di, di cambiare questa situazione, quindi permettere alle persone che nascono in Italia di avere la cittadinanza italiana e godere dei diritti che ehm, tutti gli altri hanno, proprio per non sentirsi eh, sempre in difetto, perché c'è questa volontà sempre di mettere il diverso, in questo caso il nero, in difetto rispetto a quello che è il, il macro tessuto, tessuto sociale. Quindi questa battaglia è una delle eh, che stiamo portando avanti. Mi piace molto eh, muovermi in ambito artistico, musicale, perché mi pare sia uno strumento che possa parlare a tutti. Eh, se non percepisci l'arte, se non percepisci la, la musica, eh, forse non hai un cuore, no, di fatto. E, e quindi tramite un, um, un festival che organizzo insieme a, a, ad altri ragazzi afrodiscendenti, ehm, tentiamo di dare il palco, lo spazio, eh, la presenza eh, di artisti afrodiscendenti in un contesto che è assolutamente quello, uh, quello bianco. I honestly, hearing your story about starting uh, a group for Afro descendants um, and around music, I, I just think about being, you know, um, I think about Motown in the US. 
the black record label started by Barry Gordon with artists like the Jackson 5, so Michael Jackson, Tito, Jermaine, all of them, Diana Ross, Marvin Gaye, the Temptations, like, I, I, that's what I feel like y'all are starting and why it's so important. Because back then, black American artists, they, they were being used and abused by white American uh, record companies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's important for people to feel safe. And I, I hate to say it, but you feel safer when it's, you know, someone with your own skin color. Uh, io nel mio piccolo paese uh, sono consigliere comunale, probabilmente il, il primo consigliere comunale nero. Fa vedere insomma che il nostro paese sta cambiando e come sta cambiando la società è anche necessario cambiare determinate leggi. With city council, you being the first black person to be on the city council in your city, like that's historic. That's same level when President Barack Obama became president of America. Like that, that's how I see it. Yes, we can. Thank you. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America. A noi italiani piace tanto anche ricordare la nostra Costituzione. E la nostra Costituzione ha un articolo bellissimo che è l'articolo 3. E tutti i cittadini davanti a legge sono uguali. I think it's very uh, it's very interesting hearing you talk about the Constitution of um, Italia and Article 3 because I'm going to go back to the, our, our Declaration of Independence, mm -hmm. the U.S. Declaration yeah. of Independence, and let me make sure I read it right. Uh, okay. There's a part where it says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it's supposed to be everyone is created equal. 1700s, they were on foolishness, but from a, a slave perspective in mm -hmm. America, when they when they he heard that and they became free uh, citizens, it's like, well, we're men. Why, why don't we have all these rights? Yeah. So then you have, you know, these amendments being added to the Constitution that black men can vote, women can vote. So it's not enough that it just says that everyone is, 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 is good in Italia. It needs, it needs to be spelled out I hate to say it because we're human. It needs to be spelled out. You can't discriminate against these people. Mm -hmm. These people were born in this country. They're Italian. They're Italiano citizens. Mm -hmm. So I don't. I don't think the world really knows that outside of Italia. If you haven't experienced it and know and, and, and know that, and I, I feel like that's those are the conversations we need to be having with not just Afro descendants, but around the world and interconnecting. Yeah. We can trade with other countries resources but we're not trading our cultures as much as we should I'm sure you know as, as a kid when you were growing up did you feel you know were there black city councilmen black people in your politics were there so io quando ero piccolo un bambino un ragazzino tutti gli attori italiani erano bianchi, eh, i dottori erano bianchi, i professori, le maestre erano bianchi. E questo purtroppo quando sei appunto un bambino, un infante, ti introietta nella testa che tu essendo nero non possa ricoprire delle, eh, delle posizioni così eh, alte sociali, no? E questa è un'ennesima violenza eh, che viene perpetrata nei confronti dei, dei neri. After sitting here uh, having a conversation with you like a very good conversation and discussion. I feel like we need to have more of these conversations online in person. If you no matter if you're black, Asian, blue, what, whatever, <laughs> if you have experienced, you know, hate in another country or you don't feel like you have the rights and you feel like you're a part of that country, comment down below where you're from and what's going on because I'm just going to keep being blind in my life and I feel like more people are because we need the story to get out. And 
it, that that's the only way we can we can uh, push forward. Because in my schools, they don't teach this. Mm -hmm. We just hear slavery and then our history. All of these groups accounts will be in the description below. Last thing, there's so many Afro descendants all over the world. Afro Argentinians. Afro Hondurans, like there's so many, and it's very important that your story is told too. It was great. I really appreciate the conversations uh, and everything. It was very magnificent to discuss with you. So I think and I will love to meet you in uh, ah, America. I, I would love that. Yeah. Ah, gotcha. <laughs>